Hey everyone, uh, I'm actually in Iceland for the next two weeks. I thought I was going to get a vacation, but it's hard to get away from the YouTube, right? Never a vacation. So what do we decide to do? Just uh, do some videos from Iceland. So uh, yeah, I probably could have found a better backdrop than this, so I'll hopefully at some point find some mountains to show you. But you're more interested in seeing what happened uh, in the April update than some mountains, right? So uh, let's take a look at another update. Okay, so let's take a look at another update in the April update. So we have something here called importing many pictures. Um, it's uh, it's a new update here, bulk import item pictures. And I have to admit, when I saw this first, I was like, "Wow, well, okay, this could be doing so many things. You could actually have it identify um, what it is using the uh, artificial intelligence and come up with an item name and maybe automatically create an item name or an item. But it doesn't do that. It actually just... Um, it just matches the item number with the uh, with the name of the picture, and and you can upload then the picture. So, like for example, here I'm missing two pictures for the mug and for the coffee bag, and I have um, created uh, a zip file with these pictures here, um, but. These I have named the same as the item number right here. And so if I go into, I think you can actually go from inventory setup into this, but you can also, of course, just type in uh, bulk import. And from here, I can go ahead and hit um, import item pictures and select the zip file. So I choose that here. So I think it's this one, pictures. Uh, and then it actually parses the zip file. It's kind of cool. So you, you, you put it into a zip file and then it parses it. You can't select many pictures. Um, so I guess this is one way to get like many files in through a zip. And so it identifies by the name that this is the item. And uh, now it's pending to upload. So all of these other uh, pictures that I had in there, it just skips. It doesn't do anything with those, which I guess I, it saddens me a little bit because you could have picked out that this is Atlantic Cod and say, do you want to create an item for that? Because it was in your file. Um, but no, maybe next time the improvement to this uh, Microsoft is suggested hereby. All right, so if I go in... Uh, import pictures. It completes it. And now if I go back, I can see that my pictures have been updated. So it's, it's neat. Uh, and and I think because Rabbit Start doesn't do this, um, so we were sort of missing getting the pictures in. So if you have thousands of pictures, it'd be pretty hard to get it in. Um, <clears throat> but with this uh, tool, we have that. So good job, Microsoft. And um, this was great.